Hi, I'm Teresa Garcia, or Amehana Arashi, depending on where you know me from. I was approached with a request to review the book Echo Three Tango by Dennis K. Hosker. You can find this on Amazon or your favorite bookstore. Personally, I give this a five-star rating and consider this for young adults and up based on some of the more advanced and nitty-gritty concepts inherent in some of the relationships that are going on and forming within this book. But I think that it would be okay to read if you're like, you know, if you have children that are 13 or so. I think that if they are well balanced, they'll easily be able to handle it as well. Echo 3 Tango is a sci fi set on another planet in a distant future. Our hero is dropped on a planet that has become a war zone infested with ferocious insect aliens. In some ways, this is a common trope. However, this is a very meaty tale that took the trope and made something living, breathing, believable, and the extreme opposite of what many think of. This is a story of survival, civilization building, and the advance of a primitive society into something eligible to join the Federation within one generation. Nothing is glossed over that I was able to catch. It took me a long time to be able to read this all the way through. Like any book I pick up, I wanted to be able to do proper justice to it, but life kept getting in the way. Even though it took me a long time to have the time to sink my teeth in, I found something extremely important to me. I was able to drop in where I had left off and not be lost, even if it had been a while. Many books fail in this, and this author did not fail. With everything that was going on, it would have been extremely easy. He handled it very well, and I would love to see this as a movie. I mean, we have this jarhead just being stranded on a hostile planet along with other members of his division. I think it was about a thousand in all total. They split up. They find each other. They find the natives of the planet. And they have to work together and learn to work together. And for me, it paralleled in some ways a lot of the ways that um, Europeans worked on the civilizing of the areas that they spread into. And I really liked the fact how the hero of our tale keeps trying to remind these natives that they don't know everything. They aren't perfect. They're just people and fallible and make mistakes. And it's just, you really need to pick this book up and read it. Maybe someday I'll be able to read part of it for the library program. But if not, please pick up a copy, especially if you like sci-fi. It's not your normal tale. Now, before I get off the air, I would like to remind people that currently we do have another writing program going on, another competition for you to enter and possibly win some free linden. It is a Thanksgiving themed writing contest. Write me a story about what Thanksgiving means to you. It could be about the historical-based Thanksgiving, or it could be your personal Thanksgiving, or it could be something you are thankful for. Just what does giving thanks, Thanksgiving, mean to you? The deadline is November 30th of 2018. Please, only 2,000 words or less. I don't have a lot of time anymore, and... It's going to be a very busy few months for me. So it needs to stay short. There are several places that you can drop your note card off. Please make sure that it is full perms so that I can pass out copies if I need to. You can drop off in one of the crystals in Trotsdale in the library itself. In the Ibexian library, there is a drop crystal. 
You can, if you have access to Star City, you can drop one there. And there's also in my little store in Saddlewood, I have set aside a spot to put a drop point there. So there are several different locations and you can even go onto the forum and post your entry on the thread as a guest. You don't even have to sign up for an account and it's free. Now, the library forum is http colon slash slash intersimlibrary.freeforums.net. You're going to be navigating and looking for the contest entry archives. And then right in there, you will find Thanksgiving 2018 writing contest. So I hope to see your entry. I like running these things for people and encouraging them to read and getting their stories out. And with that, I'll bid you a good night and happy reading.